So welcome to your reading. Is this relationship going to last? All right, so sorry, I've been out uh, a little sick for um, almost three weeks and still I'm feeling um, a little bit unwell, but I'm ready to do a reading <laughs> today. Uh, haven't um, been a little bored <laughs> this past week, so um, I'm so happy to be back here. Let's uh, try and um, choose a crystal. Let me show you. These colors are very beautiful. So I have to show you in the light here. This is crystal number one and number two. And number three. Yeah. So use your intuition as usual and um, I'll see you in your reading. Okay, so this reading is for those of you who chose the first heart here with the blue shine. <laughs> okay, let's see. Wow, we have an ambulance coming outside. What the heck? Well, uh, for those of you who are uh, thinking, uh, is this something that is uh, we need to save? <laughs> well, the ambulance is definitely coming, okay, and trying to. So let's see what the cards say. Victory and success. Wow, that's a pretty good to card to start off with here. Um, <laughs> and then we have light. And then we have foundation and achievement and base chakra wow some pretty good cards um uh, here um definitely uh, i feel like some of you are already with this person perhaps you're married to this person or in a in a long-term relationship or just in a relationship with the, this person and um and i feel like both of you are wanting this to um be uh, something very stable and um are willing to uh, act as a team here to create a beautiful uh, dream that both of you have i feel like you have the same dream um, about um, and hope for this relationship oh, you both of you are wanting this to be a success and i feel like you already have actually created it if you are together all right um so um and if you're not with your person in this uh, new relationship, um, I feel like these cards are saying that both of you actually have the same idea about what it is that you want in a relationship um, because of this card here and the base chakra. We are grounded and um, have the same values and uh, the card number four is like stability on all four, you know, it's so, um, and this card is, uh, we want a happy uh, and a beautiful life together. It's the sun, right? Uh, so we, we want the same thing. We want happiness and uh, we want to shout it out to the world. Look at us and our beautiful, perfect life we have created with one another here. So it's really a good start, this one. The last card on the next card is the card number 20 nine the world yeah i feel i'm 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 getting a vision of um two people grabbing each other's hand and just saying to each other let's do this let's go on this journey together with one another and um And make 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 a uh, this uh, a legacy. <laughs> I feel like uh, let's show the world how beautiful we are with one another. And you are my world, and I'm your world, and it's just perfect, adding up to something very beautiful here. Okay, so 
Good choice. <laughs> Heart number one here. Let's see from the universal love. Okay, we have eternal flame, you guys. Wow. And then the next one is celebration. Wow, we have marriage cards like one after the other on top of one another. And divine guidance. It's like the angels have sort of been a part of creating this. This is what I'm getting here. Wow, what a beautiful energy. Oh, it feels good. It feels so good. Um, like a good, stable, loving uh, relationship where you can, you know, be um, collaborating very good and be a team and be lovers and be passionate toward one another and kind and caring and um, wanting to, um, you know, help each other out and make this happen. Create a stability, a family. Um, for some of you, a family or kids, um, you know, uh, some have kids already and both of you are wanting the kids to be all right, everybody to be all right. Or some of you are wanting children and are actually wanting to create a, a, a new family here. But I'm really getting both of you want the same thing. Okay, a uh, light series to row is saying, uh, let's see here. Uh, nine of cups. <laughs> yeah, happiness. Um, right next to the sun here and victory and success. Wow, this is such a good fortune here coming in. Wow, it's beautiful. Oh, we have ten of cups. Even more beautiful. Lots of love, lots of Oh, beautiful emotions coming in here kids playing and both of you are like wow this is what I've been looking for my entire life I've been waiting for this happiness my dreams coming true temperance a beautiful beautiful energy here where opposites attract but they're just perfect with one another and the angels have brought this we have angel wings uh, divine intervention here as well and um, the sun and the moon and the stars is everything is like uh, aligning here it's just very beautiful the mature love relationship in the temperance card here for some of you and uh, the fool okay let's do this together I'm I'm ready are you ready yeah I'm ready let's take my hand and just Let's walk out into the world and uh, show the world uh, who we are and what we have and what we found in one another. Let's celebrate it. Let's get married. Let's just uh, tell everybody. <laughs> okay. Wow. I love this energy. I love this energy of celebration. And uh, using the love ink as the last card here. Um I'm going to try to um, put a description below, but it's gonna. My computer is in the doctor's house uh, for the next three to four weeks. It's just like my life is like first I get sick for th three weeks and then my computer <laughs> gets sick. So um, it's just um, if you want to know more about these cards I made, go back to the a few um, videos and then all the descriptions are there and you can see everything about them okay we have two cards from love inc i remember you of course you do you remember each other right because you are you know each other from on the other side of the the veil you've been planning this uh, you've been planning this encounter and this relationship has been uh, actually waiting for both of you to align to the exact same frequency where you're ready to meet one another. And the last one is <laughs> happily ever after. What? This is just gorgeous. This reading, ah, uh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So, well, um, congratulations. If this is you and this is your life, I just, uh, I wish you all the best. And I really hope, um, or I, I really hope hope that this uh, happens for you if you are in a relationship 
and um, you're watching this video because you're a little doubtful or you don't really exactly know um, how, where this will bring you, Spirit is saying to me to, ad to advise that you uh, take a look at the things that you can find that you can be grateful for right now. Uh, because there are many spirits like um, try and find uh, at least five every day small things that can you know, make you feel satisfied and grateful for and start focusing more on what you have already created here okay and um, and be kind and loving to your partner and uh, and say to them you know what I feel like uh, I I need more care between us. I need more kindness. I'm I have decided I want to be more loving toward you. Um, do you want to do the same with me? And then we can sort of uh, put more life into this relationship, or you know whatever is going on in your relationship. Though this is only for those of you who are sort of. Ah, that's why we had the ambulance. <laughs> uh, so Spirit is saying, um, well, uh, Spirit is really wanting uh, your relationship to have a revival here. And they're showing me when someone is being um, help, you know, um, their heart is being pumped because they're dying. <laughs> so spirit is like, well, look at this. This is what you have. Be grateful and um, and choose to um, do what you can. To to make this uh, come alive again because you really have good things. This is for those of you who uh, felt like that, okay? Or are is in, in this kind of relationship, all right? So, and for those of you who don't, well, mm, congratulations. <laughs> Here you go, <laughs> okay? I'll see you next time, all right? Take care. So, if you chose this uh, beautiful salmon-colored uh, crystal, here we go. Is this relationship of yours going to last? So let's start seeing here um, the first one. Here we have two of wands. It says movement, choices, and decisions. All right. Okay, I'm getting that it's you. You are... Um, a little doubtful here you don't know exactly what you want to do here and then we have uh, card number 17 hope that's just the star card right and then we have uh, ace of swords triumphant success and harmony card number six so we have actually two major arcanas here uh, in the beginning here <sighs> Okay, um, the energy that's coming in is that you are um, a little bit all over the place inside. There are things you feel like you, you have to make a choice here and you want to make a clear decision about what it is that you actually want. You have lots of hopes of beautiful things and you really want a relationship with lots of beautiful love and care and... Um, but you are thinking, should I cut this out of my life to get there, to to come to that um, encounter of someone who can love me equally and um, treat me like I want to be treated and or the way I deserve to be treated? What should I choose here? Should I stay? Should I go? I'm getting... Um, Okay, so um, then we have the world and um, the six chakra are Changel and Metatron. All right, so I'm pulling you down here. Um, yeah, you're way, way up in your third eye. Um, all the time thinking and thinking and thinking um, is this it for me should I do something else what should I choose you're very very in your mind I'm getting 
should I just take a leap of faith and just walk out of here and um, start a completely new beginning for myself? Or should I stay here? For some of you, this relationship is your world. You Perhaps you're married to someone or in a relationship with someone. And you're asking yourself, well, this is my world. This is where my comfort zone. This is I'm. This is where I feel protected. This is where I've always been. Um, should I stay here? Because, well, what's on the other side uh, of this uh, of this gate? Um, should I stay here where I feel um, provided for? Um, should I stay in my marriage because I promise to stay forever? You know, or should I um, try and, and start something new for myself? Or should I just walk out into nothing and just without a plan? <laughs> it's like there are many different scenarios here, I feel like, that you might have been thinking about. All right, so let's see with the... Um, Night Seer Tarot here, what do you see? Okay, four one. So some of you are um married um with with this person, a person. Um but I I'm being drawn to to look at this tent that is actually empty inside. So do you feel like there is just nothing there uh, anymore holding you there um, for some of you? And then uh, Six of Cups. Yeah. Uh, it's on the star card. So I feel like perhaps this person that you're asking about feels like home to you in a way it's it, it was right at one point and uh and it's sort of still feels like it's it's right for you um it was what you were hoping for and it was what you were longing for at the point or then when you met each other so um but you still are also perhaps have a vault i'm hearing and now you're looking for someone who is on another frequency who is um, vibrating uh, on another level than the one that you are with now or you're thinking and asking about now so it, it's um yeah let's just move on um because this is six of cups and four of wands, right? Nine of wands, yeah. So you're hmm, not really content here. I feel like there is a lot of uh, mm, you're protecting yourself, and you're now now you're like I'm, I don't know if I'm really happy where I am. Uh, I feel like I have to set my boundaries all the time, and no one's really listening and. All I want in this is this love and beautiful relationship where we remember each other's souls. And uh, I want, uh, you know, and I'm something that feels right to me. Okay, you're heartbroken with the Nine of Swords here. Um, yeah. And scared uh, about what to do here. Um, if you should stay or go, I'm hearing those two words, stay or go. So some of you are really struggling here with a decision. Okay, let's see. In the next we have five, five more cards. Uh, the decision again with the Ace of Swords. I feel like it's like the um this chakra up here. there we go six chakra uh the third eye energy here again you're trying to make a decision and you're trying to make it as clear and as respectful and right as possible eight of swords you've something is holding you back something is definitely hold, holding you back but um 
it's like a self-imposed restriction here. It's an isolation and you're imprisoning yourself somewhere or in something. And it definitely could be this relationship that you're asking about. Um, it could be that you have met someone new and you make up your own mind uh, which relationship this re reading is about. Okay. And then the next one, the fool. We have, yeah, you're like, sh I've, should I stay? Should I go? I really, I feel like I should just go. And then the magician and the queen of cups. Yeah. So I'm really getting here that um, you have taken your life to another level of vibration, right? And you're like, I know that I can manifest now whatever I want. I just really have to, really have to make a decision. But what I want is I want love. I just want to be loved and look like this. And feel like, wow, I got what I wanted for such a long time. It was my hope for so long to have this relationship or a next kind of love, another kind of love, to be treated this beautiful and caring way, um, emotional way, where I just feel my heart is open and flooded with beautiful, beautiful, kind and caring, compassionate love from my special someone. Okay, um, and that doesn't mean if you have a past person here that they were not at one point your special someone, uh, because they all tend to to be <laughs> in the beginning of a relationship, right? But I feel like you sort of took a, a step up here. So, and the Love Ink uh, Lovers Oracle deck. This is my uh, deck. Um, yeah, and like I said in the first crystal, <laughs> I spent three weeks uh, having the flu and now my computer. Uh, once I was ready to go back to work, my computer actually got sick. So now it's um, in the doctor's house for the next three to four weeks. So uh, whatever the universe is go doing right now, well, this is the the thing that's going on here <laughs> in my life. That means um, the description for my cards, you're going to have to go back a few videos. I'm not sure if I can put the description in under this uh, video. Okay, just so you know. Uh, kiss me. Ooh, this is what you're longing for. You want that. Oh, you want that. Mm. Oh, yeah. This Queen of Cups that you have become, this magician that you're becoming, it's just this is what you want. This is what you've been longing for. Let's get to know each other. Someone new, a new and exciting relationship where you just um, can't wait to see the other person can't wait to speak to the other person and <laughs> just be together with them and divorce okay it goes uh right here in the middle of nine of wands and nine of swords right boundaries and depression <sighs> okay so um Yeah, so this is a, a sign for you that um, that this is sort of um, coming in, um, some sort of a break from the person that's, uh, yeah, in your life. And because you are on your way out, this is what I'm getting here. I remember you. Yeah, so most definitely you do remember this past person or the person that's in your life um sorry um someone's at the door i have to just very fast get it so what i wanted to say with that is that i feel like uh if you're in a relationship that you're um, not sure if you're gonna continue with you you have already a relationship with this person 
that is some sort of a soulmate energy, right? If there is a new person coming into your life, then still it is uh, and also a soulmate energy. That's what I want to say, okay? Um, or if this could also only be a wish that you're going to want to be some with someone that you feel aligned with your energy passion you want passion in your life you want passion back in your life uh, you you're longing for passion i'm just getting um like uh, things have become a little too boring and the next card is free love okay so okay you want to feel free in your relationship perhaps you don't really um have um, enough free time or you you feel like this person that you're with is just not really um there for you in a supportive way or there is a lack of respect all sorts of things could be uh, a reason why you don't really feel free in Okay, uh, and this is what you're longing for. I'm just getting these last cards are what you're wanting, what you're longing for. And I feel like they're coming in. If you make uh, a hard decision, all right, to uh, take care of you. I'm trying. Okay, so this is, I feel like your person is saying here, I'm trying to be all of this. I'm trying to be all of this. I just don't know how. I just don't know how. I don't know what you expect of me. Um, because uh, I feel like they also might be longing for the same. Okay. So, um, <laughs> is this relationship going to last? Well, it's up to you, right? But I definitely do see that uh, there could be something else um, coming for you because your frequency have um, directed its course towards something else, something other than what you are in right now. And then we start manifesting something else. Okay, so this is what I had for you. So thank you so much for watching and um, I wish you the best of luck. Take care. So this reading is for you if you chose this beautiful stone here shaped as a heart. It has lots of landscapes in it, right? So uh, let's start off with the universal love spirit. Say. Forgiveness, starting off with forgiveness, meditation and the goddess. Okay, so what's going on in this relationship? you asking, will it last? I feel like there is a story that we're going to be told here. Spirit says, um, coming from one person, one energy, going into yourself and moving on to the next or to... Um, um, a learning, a teaching uh, where you sort of become the goddess within that you truly are by loving yourself. So let's see what the cards say, spirits say. Let's move on with this. Okay, so conflict and defeat. Okay, so there definitely is someone uh, who's going to need some forgiveness here. I feel like both yourself and another person. Disruption card number seven, 16. We have uh, six, no, five of swords here with conflict and defeat. Um, ouch, this is a, oh, a very abusive, abusive relationship in a way. It's not nice, it's not, oh, it feels, I feel like pain in my heart when I'm talking about this card. And card number 16 is the tower moment. And this is where spirit comes in and really gives you a tower moment that shocks the hell out of you for some. And I feel that you're going to have this experience or you could have already had uh, this or, or more uh, of this type of uh, experiences. Five of swords here, obstacles and challenges. No, it's not swords. It's, uh, what is it then? 
Hmm. I can't remember what that one is. Is it pentacles in this one? I'm not sure, but it still is a card. Obstacles and challenges is in the tarot. Um, I feel like it's the pentacles energy that's coming in here. Okay. Um, could also be wands, but still there is something not really good here there's something uh standing in the way of you here in yeah yeah it's just uh it's very 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 um hard uh energy that's coming in you just feel like there's no way out energy okay and then we have patience here no, the red one is the wand. So this one is the pentacles. Um, and that was the energy I felt re really. So seven of, of wands is the, uh, the card of um, where well, you really have to protect yourself from something, right? So um, ooh, these tower moments in this relationship, love begins, we have. So this is the ace of cups. Wow. Okay, so um, I feel like in the middle of a hardship, of a really a disruptive uh, relationship, there is another love presenting itself. It's just, um, that's why we have suddenly, we have forgiveness and meditation and the goddess suddenly. Coming out from all of this, we have the goddess and a new kind of love and a new emotional love. It can be toward yourself or toward another person. But love is coming in as uh, I'm looking for the word as um, well, something else, something other than this hardship, right? So it's just uh, an alternative that's a, thank you spirit <laughs> uh, to uh, this feeling that I'm also right now feeling inside of my stomach it's really uh, it's not very good okay um, so for those of you I'm um, um, yeah I'm sorry so but card number 20 this is card the truth it says here Okay, so this is a judgment energy and um, a major arcana. So some things are going to happen after the Tao moment. That means after everything is sort of being pulled away uh, under you, then there there is uh, some clarity coming in and a final decision, a wake-up call here. And uh, you understand suddenly what it is that you have to do after having gone into meditation, thought a lot about it, healed yourself, I want to say. Um, okay, and then we have the universe card of 21. So there is a story in a development here, 2021, right? So, um, so after this beautiful rebirth, here we are rebirthing you here uh, as this beautiful goddess coming out feeling love for themselves here inside um, well everything starts over and promises a beautiful new beginning but there is an ending that has to take place before you can enjoy this new beginning i'm getting transformation wow we have now four major arcanas I really also do feel in my body is uh, really this tough. This is a tough situation, but it's also a life-changing uh, situation. I'm really getting uh, spirit is walking straight through me here. You can see, look in my arm, I get all these goosebumps when <sighs> spirit is walking straight through me and wanting to acknowledge that spirit is here taking care of you and also someone from a deceased loved one is taking care of you uh, for some of you I'm getting um, first actually I got a grandmother but there was also a man for some of you taking care of you and you know who it is the first one on the other side that you think of is there to protect you and holding your hand they're saying and they're right here as you can see my goosebumps are all over the place this is what happens when I um, 
um, encounter the spirits, right? So um, you got it. I'm getting that, those words. Okay, so, but you are undergoing or will be undergoing um, a death and a rebirth uh, in this relationship for those of you who are asking for this. And then we have spiritual union and then love comes in. It's like love is on just right there on the other side waiting for you. Look, we have these beautiful new pastors here. We have one, two again. One, two over here saying goodbye. One, two and beginning again. One, two. And this is the transformation in the middle here, right? Death, rebirth. Wow. So I really love how they're doing this. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm very beautiful energy. Okay. So Spirit wants me to do it like this. Uh, because uh, this is two of cups, one of, uh, ace of cups and, and two of cups. And this is uh, the most beautiful loving relationship you can ever have or find. Someone who aligns with you, someone who cares for you and who will never treat you bad and who will just always respect you and be there for you, take care of you and be compassionate toward you and kind. Okay, and um, then we have the nine, card number nine. A once here, material harvest. This is luck and success and... I feel like also that it's like also solo uh, pleasure. It's like inside of you, you feel good because now you're self-sufficient and you, you're sort of taking care of yourself right now with the goddess and giving yourself this love and uh, providing for yourself as uh, stronger than before I'm getting, okay? Uh, because you've been planning this. You really have been planning this. Um, yeah, we have a lot of these cards. I feel like in each of my uh, 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 crystal spreads here, um, Spirit shows different types of amounts of cards and different types of cards. So I just have to roll with it, you know, do what they say. And then we have eight of wands, positive movement forward. So uh, once you sort of get out of this, it's gonna something is gonna actually uh, start um, uh, really fast. Things are gonna move really fast for you. So this is very very beautiful. <laughs> and then we have um, spiritual strength. Wow. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I really do feel like that this is a very, very beautiful energy here of, um, is this blue or is it purple? Okay, so we are at the, pentacles, right? All right, so, okay, I'm so sorry. I'm not, I'm, I don't use these cards a lot. So these were the ones and these were the pentacles. So here we have the boundaries, but also I, I thought they they were the, but but because I actually channeled this card's energy from this, <laughs> this one over here, but it's because they were both sort of coming in. <laughs> okay, so we have solo pleasures. And also I know who I am now. I know what I want. And um, I can take care of myself. And once I really fi find that grounding within myself, uh, and uh, I know how to take things slow, because uh, I am actually able to take care of myself first and foremost, and not jump out and give everybody every everything and give too much of myself, I can actually ground myself also in these energies between these two cards. I'm sorry, um, I was confused with the colors and um, I'm, I think I'm more like a word person <laughs> when it says wands, when it says pentacles, then I can understand. 
<laughs> well, now we have and the, and the aid of um, once it's gonna really take off, right? Really take off. And now we we have the light seers to row here, seven of cups and uh five of swords. Knight of Pentacles, the Tower, and Queen of Wands. Okay, I'll, okay, I'll take them. Spirit was like, just keep on putting them out. There is a story here, and it's the same one we actually been going through here. I feel like um, where you are in a relationship right now, you have a lot of choices, and it is giving you a heartache, a pain, a heartache. I want to say, not a headache as much as a heartache but actually also perhaps both right because uh i feel like when i ask the strings inside of me where does my headache come from then uh, spirit is showing me my heart <laughs> so my headache very often comes from my heartache right so these are <laughs> connected um, but spirit is like there is a knight of pentacles coming into your life here with the um, spiritual union two of cups energy um and that's when the tower moment happens this is what poof, everything crashes down um and you're like this is actually what i'm wanting this is what i've always been looking for um or it can be also a promise of someone it can be a promise of a soulmate um and um and you are sort of acknowledging that this is what i want i want another kind of person in my life that gives me love that fulfills my heart and my soul okay and then uh, the chariot this person is coming in really fast very fast and it's going to be a soulmate i feel like it's going to be a soulmate this one and then the nine of knight of cups we have two knights and the the best ones right right the pentacles and the cups uh because you can't really always i want to say um trust the knight of cups but you can if they are also the knight of pentacles so i don't feel like there are two people coming into your life but these this is a person that has both um energies within and comes in with uh, love care beautiful loving words gifts and also is willing to and telling you that i'm able to provide for you i'm able to create a beautiful and i want a beautiful stable life with someone and the last card the, the empress okay so wow you guys you are becoming this uh, queen of cups the queen of love knowing who you are the goddess and this person that you attract um, can give you what you deserve now i really do feel all of these tower moments, all of this heartache, all this headache and stuff like that, it's bringing you into what it is, who you really truly want to be and what it tr really is that you want to receive and enjoy in your life because of the fact that you know now what you deserve. Okay, let's do the Love Inc. Uh, like I said in the other two... Um, crystals um my computer is <laughs> sick and at the doctor's house for three to four weeks yeah so i've been sick for three weeks and now <laughs> my computer is sick so um i can't um i really gonna try but it's gonna be hard for me to write a description underneath this video okay so go two videos back and you can see and find a link for my cards the love ink if you want to see them okay sorry stop find another route for this relationship is it going to last well spirit is saying you should find you should stop yourself and stop this if it doesn't make you happy um, you should always you know take care of yourself here player Okay, so perhaps you're with someone who is a player. And 
uh, unhappy someone I feel like this person perhaps you're asking about or is unhappy within themselves and therefore making you unhappy and creating these uh, tower moments I want to say one after the, the other soulmate a new soulmate is coming in here we love this side of the table because all this beautiful loving energy is over here <laughs> okay so um there is a new soulmate coming in here if you choose to stop this and the next card is kiss me well this is the relationship that you're wanting right or you just really indulge in a kiss or you just become each other's tongues and souls and bodies and everything right and hearts melting into one another <laughs> and the last card happy family okay so well um it's on its way to you here once you step into the the empress that you are the beautiful loving soul um um, that connects their earthly person uh, to their spirituality and uh, is aware that giving love to yourself first is the most important thing and then you can attract someone who knows exactly how to bring you that love because you know what you deserve. You have the respect for yourself first and foremost and then whomever comes in will understand that this is your map. This is uh, how I have to be. And uh, it's going to be a, a very beautiful high vibrational energy coming in here that you're going to attract. All right. So and you can create this beautiful, happy family and a foundation with one another. So thank you so much for watching and I wish you all the best, okay? Um, we've all been there, heartache, heartbreak. Um, but don't forget that when you find a new love, you feel so happy inside and it's coming in. It's going to come in. This is what these cards are actually promising. So take care.